Dr. Ragusea, what can we do today to help put a stop to this growing problem? What people need to do is get on the phone and call their state senators, their state representatives, their federal congressmen, their federal senators, the governor's office, and say, here's the problem we've got. We need to spend our money on mental health care, not on more prisons. People don't understand it, but the prisoners have no voices. These are people who are buried behind walls of concrete and steel, and nobody speaks for them. Okay? And, and if you want to be part of the solution, that's the smartest thing you can do. Because when legislators get five phone calls or ten letters, okay, that's more than they get on any subject in a week, typically. If they get a hundred, it's an avalanche, and they know they'd better address something. So if people at home want to know what to do, that's what they ought to do. Right. And everybody can do that. One person, you can help in the fight to stop this. I've been doing that for 30 years, and I'd sure appreciate some help. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Ragusea, thank you for being back on this morning, and I know we're not finished on this discussion yet of the mentally ill in prison, so I look forward to when you're back. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in and joining me today. You can catch me right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. If I, I